Hi everyone, Al DeMarco here. This is going to be your Friday video report. Free play coming up in just a moment on Tulane and Houston and college football, plus my thoughts on the Mountain West showdown between Utah State and Boise State. Remember, today is the final day to take advantage of that coupon code that could save you $125 off the purchase price of any handicapper's 30-day package, and that code, once again, is SAVE125. Now, these codes only become available when the Charity Play of the Week wins, which, of course, it did earlier this week, and now you can take advantage. Again, save $125 off of any handicapper's 30-day package. It doesn't have to be Scott Delaney who gave you a free winner with ease on Tuesday night. It can be anybody's package here at the site of 30 days in length. And listen, guys, if you happen to already be involved in a long-term package with a particular handicapper, and let's say you have 11 days left and you want to get another 30 days, that'll give you 41 days total. You're going to take the $125 off the top using coupon code SAVE. 125 and if you have any instant rebates they are applicable as well the other option you have and a coupon that also expires today is you can save $50 off the purchase price of any handicapper's seven-day package, which is really a great deal when you think about it because you got Friday football, Saturday, Sunday, Monday football. Your next four football days are included in that seven-day length, and you're saving $50 off the top by using coupon code SAVE50, S-A-V-E-5-0. The other coupon, again, on the 30-day package is SAVE125, S-A-V-E-125. Should you have any questions, you can always contact customer service. And of course, guys, I give you these coupons after the charity play wins because it's my way of bribing you to make a contribution. If you have not done so yet, please do so. If you're watching here on the site, just scroll down underneath my video report to get all the details and click on the link to make your contribution. You'll see I've made $500 over the past two weeks of contributions to this particular recipient. I'm not asking you to do the same. I don't care if you give $5. All I care about is if you're participating in the program is to make a donation because it's the right thing to do and you can never have enough positive karma. Of course, I could have had like two boatloads of karma last night and it wouldn't have mattered with that awful pick on the Atlanta Falcons. My God, is that a way to end a six-day winning streak? A streak which I had won 15 out of 19 days, including six in a row, and I come up with that lousy play on the Falcons last night. And let me tell you guys, I would make the same exact bet today. Yeah, I don't have any regrets. I don't lament the losses. I don't celebrate the wins. I never sit here and second guess myself. I was in a position to press to take that money that I'd accumulated with the six straight winning days and 15 out of 19. I saw a play last night. I went for it and guess what? The reason we call it gambling is because there's no guarantees. Look it up in the dictionary. You won't find those two words on the same damn page. Bottom line, it was a loser. And you know what? You can't dwell on the past. You got to pick up and immediately look forward to the future. I think gamblers that dwell on the past and continually second guess themselves, forget about handicappers. I'm talking gamblers here like you and me. You get caught up dwelling over the past and you miss the next money making opportunity that's right there in front of you. To me tonight, that's in baseball because I'm not in love with any of these college football games, to be honest with you. And that's why I'm going to give you one as a free selection as well. Now, I can tell you, uh, a couple of guys here at the site have major wagers going tonight. Anthony Red, half price play of the day, going for winning day number 12 out of 18. First 100 dime college football release of the season. First 100 dime max wager play. It's his college dog of the year. It's one of your four games tonight. And it's bigger than last Friday's winner, which you got at a discount when Marshall, remember, was a three-point favorite, and they clobbered Southern Mississippi 31-10. Uh, bigger than last month's 80-dime play when he had Stanford, a nine-and-a-half-point road dog, winning outright at USC. Stronger than that 75-dime winner, number nine out of 13, which you got on Arkansas State in an 18-point road win and easy cover at South Alabama that you got for half price on Tuesday night, and you get it for half price today simply by using coupon code HALF, H-A-L-F. The other guy to make you aware of, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, I get all choked up when I start to talk about the Cali Cartel of Steve Budin's fame. Uh, his number one college football crew the past two years, the Cali Cartel, 59 football winner, number 24 of 36, their AAC game of the year on Houston Tulane. They are not on the same game, by the way, as A-Red is on. Uh, matches last night's winner, a 59 play on Stanford, which you got at $70 off the regular price. Save $65 off the regular price for today's 59 winner, number 24, out of 36 by using coupon code CALI34, C-A-L-I-34. No space between the word CALI and 34. 
That means you'll save $65 and get it for just $34, our latest winner from his number one college football crew over the past two seasons. Let's take a look at this game between Houston and Tulane. You know, this is a big revenge game for Houston because last year they were still in the hunt for a postseason berth. And it was homecoming, and Tulane came to Houston, and Tulane took care of business because the Houston quarterback, Greg Ward Jr., is off to a tremendous start this season through three costly interceptions in this particular spot. Now, Houston's on the road tonight. Not necessarily a bad thing because the Cougars have covered 12, 12 straight on the road. Meanwhile, the Green Wave have failed to cover in five straight as a home dog. Um... Yeah, you know, this Houston team puts a lot of points on the board. This is a Tulane team that gives up a lot of points. Witness what happened to them last week when they went to Temple. They were fortunate to only be down 21-10 at halftime in that game because Temple committed or fumbled the ball five times in the first half and only recovered uh, three of them. So they were lucky to be down 21-10 at halftime, and they're lucky they only lost 49-10 in that contest. Um, you know, the Green Wave only had 110 total yards in that game. Yeah, they've won their last two home games against Central Florida, which is just an awful year for the Knights of George Leary. And uh, they beat Maine. Oh, big deal. They meet the Maine Bears, right? Uh, the, uh, what, uh, a 1-double-A team, 38 to 7. Uh, this is a team that lost at home in its home opener to Duke, a team that was revamping its offense with a new quarterback. They lost it by 30 points, 37-7. to 7. They got crushed at Georgia Tech, uh, couldn't stop the triple option, 65-10. to 10. Their starting quarterback, uh, Tanner Lee, suffered a concussion in last week's loss at Temple. He's going to be replaced by Redshirt Jr. by the name of Devin Powell, who's going to be making his fourth start. And only his, uh, let's see, his last one was back in 2013. He's only attempted eight passes on the season. And again, revenge for the, uh, the Cougars, who lost 31-24 last year at home. They had won 10 in a row in the series and covered nine of those 10 games before getting upset last year. Uh, I mentioned Greg Ward Jr. Off to a great start, 100 for 138 this season, right? Little over 72% of his passes he's completed. Eight touchdowns, only one interception. Not only that. But he's also run for 554 yards this season, averaging seven yards a carry with 11 more touchdowns. And I look at his two road performances this year uh, at Louisville, a game that uh, Houston won. 23 for 33 through the air, 233 or 236 yards, three touchdowns, and he also ran the ball 21 times for 98 yards. Then in Tulsa, uh, 23 for 39 through the air, 274 yards, ran the ball 20 times for 182 yards. He's rushed for at least 82 yards in every single game this season. So I'm going to go with Houston here. They also have the extra day of prep time because while Tulane was playing at Temple in Philadelphia last Saturday, Houston was hosting SMU. So they have a little extra time to prep for this one. And I like the Cougars in this one, even though it's a monstrous lay. Uh, Boise State and Utah State. You know, this line has dropped from Boise State 9.5 down to 8, and for good reason. It's going to be a battle between two very good defensive teams. You know, uh, Utah State's second best uh, defense behind Washington that the Broncos will face this entire season. They forced 10 turnovers in their uh, past three games. Utah State has won 11 straight games at home. Uh, Boise State comes in here with uh, Brett Rippon, the true freshman, the, uh, his uh, uncle Mark, who used to be the quarterback of the Redskins years ago. Uh, he's off to a phenomenal start, 73 for 104 so far since taking over the uh, starting job. A uh, little over 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns, one interception. Pass protection has been kind of iffy. He's been sacked four times. He was hit six times in last week's game against Colorado State, in which he had his worst half of his freshman season so far. Second half of that game, he really struggled. Six for 11, 94 yards and an interception. Still, though, he comes in here with a uh, hell of a quarterback rating. And he's going to take on a Utah State defense that has shown some vulnerability against uh, good quarterbacks this season. In fact, uh, the Washington, University of Washington freshman quarterback, uh, Browning, I think is his name. Um, you know, he threw for 368 yards and three touchdowns against them. A uh, problem with taking Boise State here is that their uh, leading uh, tailback, Jeremy McNichols, 
who has already scored 14 touchdowns this season. He is questionable for the game. He averages like 4.85 yards per carry. He also has 20 catches on the season. Uh, Broncos off a 41-10 win at Colorado State last Saturday. Before that, they beat Hawaii 55-0 at home. Uh, won at Virginia 56-14. Won 52 to nothing at home to Idaho State. They have not allowed a point in the second half of their last four games. They've only allowed 24 points total in those four games. And, you know, they win tonight. They're going to run the table. I mean, you got a lousy Wyoming team up next, New Mexico and Air Force at home, and you're going to UNLV and San Jose State. I mean, they're going to finish the season 11-1 when they win tonight. Now, Utah State, of course, once again lost their veteran quarterback, Chucky Keaton, early in the season to a uh, uh, knee injury, I think it was. And uh, since then, they've gone 2-0, and beating up uh, Fresno and Colorado State. Um, again, this is a good Utah State defense. Problem is, Boise State's defense might even be better. That's right, might even be better. I think they had eight or nine starters coming back from last season. They've only allowed seven offensive touchdowns so far this year. Uh, number two in the nation stopping the run, giving up a little under 61 yards a game. Number five in the nation in total defense, allowing 259.5 yards a game. Number seven in the nation in terms of points per game allowed at just 12 points a game. Boise's won 12 in a row in the series. They won 50 to 19 at home last year. The Utah State team, again, they've won 11 straight at home. Kent Myers, their quarterback, 7 and 1 as a starter. You guessed it, the lone loss was against Boise State. The public obviously jumping all over Utah State here, which has suppressed the line down from 9.5 to 8. I think it's a tough game. I mean, it is a really tough game. Part of me would like to grab the points with Utah State, and yet I know Boise State is the better team. But it's going to be a sellout crowd. It's going to be a a rowdy crowd, and you got a true freshman going in there making the start. True, he started at Virginia and won handily. But this is a little different. This is a big conference rival. So I can see it going either way. I lean a little towards Utah State, but I think the best bet tonight is obviously the free pick, which I gave you already, which was on, um, I almost forgot what the damn play was, the Houston Cougars. As for the Cincinnati-BYU game, a lot of points. I think you can expect that. Might be the most entertaining game to watch tonight, but not one that I venture a guess on. Good luck, everybody. I'll catch you again on Saturday when we do this one more time.